Now, a lot of people ask me about creating the interior mock-up of a book. To create something like this, you've got the two pages and down the center, you've got this shadow, which gives the book interior a more 3D realistic look. Why would you want to do this? Well, you can use the images you create to promote your book on things like Amazon A plus content, your own website or social media, such as Instagram or Facebook. So that's exactly what we're going to do today in this very quick video. And the method I'm going to show you is quite simple, which means hopefully very little can go wrong. Now, as you can see with this image, it is very basic. We don't have things like curved pages. The idea about this is to keep things extremely simple and quick. But the images you do create are going to look very effective for promoting your books. So the first step is we need that shadow effect that we've got down the middle of the book. Go along to my Gumroad shop. The link is in the description below and you'll see the file here, these book cover mock-up templates. Now inside you'll find four files. Three of them are for creating uh, realistic mock-ups of your book cover. And you've got the book interior mock-up shadow, which is what we're going to be using today to create the mock-up of our interior. So it's free of charge. So just go ahead and download that. Then we're going to go across to Canva. I'll show you how to do it there first, and then I'll quickly go into Affinity Designer, show you how to do it there, which is great if you're using things like Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, Graphic Designer, or any other graphic design program. Now, first of all, we need to set up our document. So we need our document size. Change this pixels to inches. Now, if it's an 8.5 by 11 inch book, you're going to need to double that because we've got our two pages. So it's going to be a 17 inch by 11 inch document. If it's a six by nine inch book, it's going to be a 12 inch by nine inch document. Now, if your book interior does have bleed, then you just have to double that size accordingly. So for this, we'll go for 8.5 by 11. So we're going to do 17 by 11 inches. And now we've got our blank document. So what you do is take that book mock-up shadow interior, which is a .png file, and just drag it across into Canva. Then what you'll need to do next is just drag in two pages that you've created. And here I'm just going to put in two pages from a previous book interior that I created in an old video. So you just put those two pages side by side. Then next, all you need to do is click on that book interior shadow that you've just downloaded. And here it is. And then just click at the top of the book and then just drag down. Now you don't want Canva to center this because the middle of the shadow won't be in the center of your document. So just drag it across until it's around about the center of your document. Now, if we click off that, you'll see we've got this sharp demarcation on either side of the shadow, which doesn't look very good. So what you need to do is just click on the shadow and just drag it to the left and drag it to the right like so. So you'll see that it now blends in with the white of the page. And there you have the interior of your book. Now, it's not perfect. You'll notice at the margins here, it does make some of the image look a bit faded. So if you found that was too much and too distracting or you didn't like it, what you could just do is just click on the transparency icon at the top here and just reduce the transparency slightly so that it has less effect on the appearance of the interior of your book. And there you have your basic image. All you need to do next is click on share, hit download, and then I suggest downloading this as a PNG file and then just hitting download. That will download to your computer. Okay, so now let's go over to Infinity Designer. I've created a blank document here, again, 17 inches by 11 inches, and I've already dragged in across my interior files, my two interior pages. So we've got this one here and this one here, again, from an old video I did on creating a number tracing book to publish on Amazon. So again, just drag in that shadow file that we previously downloaded, just move that to the top, move it down to the bottom and then just expand it out to the left and expand it out to the right. And again, just using your eye, place the middle of the, the shadow or the darker edge of the shadow down the middle of your document. And so here you go. You've got an interior with a kind of 3D appearance. Again, if you were to look very closely and enlarge it, you can see where the shadow ends. There is this slight artifact but to be honest, once you've uploaded these to Amazon A plus content or social media, 
you probably won't notice that at all. But again, if you didn't like that, just reduce the opacity slightly. But for me, I don't mind. And again, export this as a .png file. So then these files are ready to upload to your Amazon A plus content, to Facebook, Instagram, wherever you want to showcase the interiors of your book. Now, if you're interested in knowing how to create a mock-up of your book cover, then I suggest watching this video next. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.